that change your preparation slightly? Yeah, it does really, because ideally, I think, you know, um, normally Friday you have a nice good session Friday, and then obviously you've only got, they haven't got too long to wait to the Saturday, and it's Saturday afternoon. When it's a Friday night, you think, do you train in the morning? You know, the lads say, well, do they have a lie in and then they can't get sleep in the afternoon? Because they, So there's all these permutations that go against you. But um, listen, it is what it is. It's on, you know, it's, it's on Sky. It's a good opportunity to show, us, show people, you know, what we're all about. I'm sure Huddersfield were thinking the same. I think, you know, Mark Robbins, an um, old friend of mine from Man United days, and it's great to see him, you know, back in football. I think, you know, he did a fantastic job at commentary. Um, and now he's done a fantastic job at Huddersfield. Um, so it's a tough game. He'll have the same mentality as me because he's been at Man United for a few years. Um, but we're looking forward to it. I'm sure they're looking forward to it. Um, and this league's funny. We know this league's like, Stuart, it's just on the day. And it's on the day, and um, it's about consistency. Uh, we're showing consistency at the moment. Um, so we ain't getting carried away. That's one thing. Other people are, but we ain't inside. You know, we know that we don't want a season like last year when I came here. And last year we nearly went down. So we, we've kind of put ourselves in a good situation at the moment not to witness that or experience that again. And that's all it is. It's no more than that. And um, that's how we'll remain until we get to safety. Mention Mark Robbins there. What is it about players that have played under Sir Alex being in management? Mm. There's quite a lot of them. You look at Steve Bruce, Mark Hughes, and obviously Keane will want to get back mm. in himself. Mark Robbins yourself, etc. Yeah, it is. It's strange because even like with Sparky, Mark Hughes, as a player, I, I, I can never see that manager material. To, uh, material. Um, Stevie Bruce, yeah, I could. Um, even Brian Robson, you could. You know, to, um, but I just think it just shows the strength for the man of Alex Ferguson and how great it was and, and the principles that he left you know, upon yourself when you left the club, you know, and it's just that desire and passion and, you know, to, what, to be a winner, to be a winner and, and loving the game. And that's the thing, when you love the game so much, you want to stay in the game. You see a lot of players now, you know, finish their contracts and they or finish their careers and they go into punditry or, you know, not many want to go into football, I'm, football management. I'm talking about top, top players. You know, there's a lot of players who leave the game who've got so much experience um, from managers they've worked under, but just go out of the game. <clears throat> for me, and you know, I think for speaking to Keeney, when you've got a vast knowledge of the game and you've learnt so many things from so many managers and players, you want to try and give that back. So you want to go into management, you know. And the thing is, we've you know we've done we've done okay. We've not gone into management and been had a poor managerial start. Darren Ferguson, for example, another one. You know, we've all had a, we've all had a bit of success somewhere down the lines, whether it's promotion or we've, let's just say Darren Ferguson with Peterborough, you know, MK Dons, Brucey. You know, we've all had a bit of success. So, you know, we can show that we can manage, you know, and um, I think Sir Alex has got a lot to, lot to pay for that, say for that.